In this video, we will learn about atom economy, what it shows and how to calculate atom economy using examples. When a reaction is carried out in industry, we are normally only interested in one of the products. The other products are sometimes waste. Atom economy simply shows us the amount of product that was useful as a percentage of all the products that were formed. The higher the atom economy, the less waste is produced. To carry out an atom economy calculation, we must look at our reaction and the equation and use the molecular masses. Remember, we want to calculate the amount of useful product as a percentage of the total products. So the equation for this will be atom economy equals the mass of the desired products divided by the mass of all the products multiplied by 100. Let's try an example. In this reaction, we want to make 1,2-dibromoethane by reacting bromine with ethene. Although we have not even considered any molecular masses yet, pause the video and take a moment to predict the atom economy in this reaction, where only one product is formed. Now let us carry out the calculation. 1,2-dibromoethane has a molecular mass of 188. Look at our equation. The mass of the useful product is 188, divided by a mass of all the products, 188, equals 1, multiplied by 100, equals 100%. The atom economy of this reaction is 100%, which hopefully you predicted, since only one product is formed and therefore there are no waste products. So now let's take a look at calculating the atom economy of a reaction with waste products. Hydrazine is a useful rocket fuel. It can be made in the following reaction. Pause the video now and attempt to calculate the atom economy. Firstly, we must calculate the molecular mass of each compound. N2H4 has a molecular mass of 32, sodium chloride 58.5, and water H2O 18. First, we need to identify our useful product. This is hydrazine, N2H4. It has a mass of 32. The total sum of all the products, including hydrazine, is 108.5. Therefore, the mass of our useful product, 32, divided by mass of all the products, 108.5, multiplied by 100, gives us an atom economy of 29.5. This number is quite low and this reflects the large amount of waste product produced in water and sodium chloride. We could describe this reaction as inefficient and a wasteful reaction. It is important that industry works towards the most efficient industrial processes with high atom economy as this is important for sustainable development. Efficient processes conserve natural resources and create less waste. Now, at the end of this video, you should understand what atom economy shows and be able to calculate the atom economy of a reaction. 